Hi. With the recent passing of some of these great musicians, I wanted to do a project to commemorate them. So this first project we're going to do is going to be making a candle for Glenn Fry. So I'm calling it a Tequila Sunrise Candle Holder. And we're going to be using um, something from my favorite store, Dollar Tree, and it's one of these uh, little mason mugs and something really fun. While I was at a restaurant the other day, I had water with lemon. And so I made a mold of my lemon wedge. So this is going to go on the outside of the glass. So um, just to let you know, I am on the Amazing Mold Putty Design Team. So I am using Amazing Mold Putty products. So we'll be using the Amazing Casting Resin, Amazing Clear Cast. We're also going to be using their resin dyes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've already mixed the resin with the um, dye. I did three drops of yellow and two drops of red because a tequila sunrise is orange and then yellow. So I used a full measuring cup of each part A and part B and I've already mixed it together and if you can see in here it's a nice orange color and I'm going to go ahead and start pouring it into my uh, mug. So anytime I use the clear cast resin I like to let it set a little while um, set out a little bit just to get the bubbles out but because I'm doing a drink, I mean, it's supposed to look like a, a drink, I'm really not going to be that concerned with bubbles because my cocktail might have bubbles in it. So I'm going to go ahead and start pouring in here. Okay, so here's our second batch of the orange, and I went ahead and mixed up some yellow so I could go ahead and pour the resin into the um, lemon mold. So let's go ahead and pour this. Let's go ahead and pour this. I know my shadow's casting over it. I want to make sure I don't pour so much that it overlaps <clears throat> and covers this little slit because I want to have that still there so I can slide it over the top of my mug. Okay, so we'll just come back in a couple of hours and see how these two came out. Okay, so now we're ready for the second part, which is putting in our yellow. So what am I doing? I've already mixed up the uh, yellow resin. You can't really tell because it's in a green cup, but it, trust me, it's yellow. And we're going to put this inside. And that's where it, this is going to go with the um, yellow resin inside of it. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to start pouring some resin in here. And I'm going to get it, try to get it to about right here, and then I'm going to put this in and see how far it goes. And then I'm sure I have plenty of extra resin for something else. Okay, so I poured this very carefully and tried to get the votive um, in the center. What I had to do is push the votive off to the side so I could pour the resin in. Had I just poured the resin in and then sat the votive in, I might have actually had too much resin and it overflowed. So this was the best solution I could come up with. Um, I'm just kind of like slowly scooting it back into the center. This really isn't in focus very good. I poured the resin in. It's got bubbles in it. Most of those will, will um, dissipate, but even if they don't, I'm okay with that because this is supposed to be a cocktail. And you see how it has this nice blend from orange into the yellow, just like a real tequila sunrise. We have the orange wedge on the mason jar, and once this dries and cures inside, we'll be able to put a votive candle inside, or we can put one of these 
little electric candles. So that's the Tequila Sunrise. As soon as it cures, I will post a picture, and it'll be really nice because it'll be able to it'll be glowing from the uh, because the glass is recessed inside of this. Okay, well we'll see you in a little bit.